Hello YouTubers, I'm Artisan and welcome to my gaming channel. First I want to thank you for all the views, likes, and shares. I extremely appreciate it guys, so thank you so much. Anyway guys, it's November 7th and obviously we have the Xbox One X Scorpio Edition. So we'll be doing an unboxing of this today and we got a couple other things we're going to be unboxing. Um, I'm not going to put those in the titles, you'll see at the end why, because you always get flagged when you do it. So as you can tell the camera is just a little bit lower than usual. And it's because I want to make sure we get everything on here. So we'll see what happens. I already sliced it open. Didn't open, actually get into it yet. So we're going to do that right now. So uh, let's see. All right. First, right off the top, what do we get here? So I always like showing you guys this stuff anyway. So make sure. Oh, it was upside down. <laughs> Excuse me guys, I just got off work, so, okay, we have the instructions to show you how to hook your system up, just in case you don't even really know how to do it, which we all do. And what else is this? Okay, get over 100 great games, endless play, plus, okay, there's a code at the bottom here, we're going to cover that up. There you go. And of course we have our designs, which I'm planning on doing some giveaways with these. So I'm going to make my own design and probably put my gaming name on there, or some gaming. So I might be doing that probably a little later on in 2018, once we get a few more subscribers. And oh, we had a gold membership here, Xbox Gold, or Live Gold I should say. Uh, another code, but it's not really saying how long. 14 day free trial, there it is there. Which actually, I do believe mine is uh, expiring soon. I do believe I got an email about that. Oh, I got one of these. Nice controllers. I got one. It's right sure right back there in the collection with the rest of them. And that is it for that. So I'll put those back in a little bit later. Okay. Oh, this will be our stuff here, hopefully. Yeah. Am I going to be able to Oh, let's go this way then. Okay, our power cord, which is the same as the S, so you should be able to unplug your Xbox S, or your Xbox actually One as well, so it should all work, should be a big deal. HDMI cables, I got tons and tons of these, ain't too worried about it. We'll put that aside, I think I got, last time I checked, I think I got like 14 or 50 of them. And our controller, and another piece of paper down here, let's see what this is, can you get it? All right. Put this aside. Got a recyclable here, guys. Got to recycle everything. This should be just the manual. Yeah, just warnings and stuff like that to make sure you know what you're doing. And here's the controller. Batteries, which we don't use because we have chargeable batteries. I'll put those aside and that aside. So there is our new controller. Project Scorpio. Now they put it kind of, the Scorpio is right here. I don't know why they just didn't, uh, I suppose kind of big, I guess, to put it on the top. Um, all the black buttons here are black, which is unique. Actually, let's take a look at them. Uh, my collection of them are right here. These are all my collectible, collectible ones here. Here is the Xbox Day One Edition. And as you can tell, it has the colored ones. There's a difference between both day one editions, of course this being the Xbox One, the very first Xbox One, and of course the Scorpio. So they're about the same. Again, the color here, the buttons are colored and this one isn't. Um, I'll probably be using this one, I don't know. I got so many controllers right now, so whatever. But we'll see. Um, some size difference. This one's more black, like a black black. This is almost like a grayish black. But nonetheless, both very nice controllers. Now let's take a look at this. Awful big box, whatever that's supposed to be. This one right here. Seriously? Really? Oops, gotta move my water here, guys. Like I said, I just got back from work, so I'm always extremely thirsty when I come back from work. This must be our stand up stand. Wow, that's quite heavy. It is quite heavy. It's actually quite 
That's quite thick and heavy. Like it's it's a lot heavier than the other ones. Like I have two other ones or three other ones actually. No, I like that. I never stand my consoles up, and I don't recommend doing it. Because if you accidentally, especially when you're a YouTuber and you have all your consoles here, computers and stuff, and you've accidentally bumped something, especially on your desk, the way it goes. Um, yeah. That's all that was in there, guys. This. This little guy right here. For this big box. But it's actually quite hard to move. Like it's, once it's there, it's on there. Like, yeah. If you guys go with it, up to you. All right, let's move my water back. I think that is it. Holy suffer, that's heavy. Like that is heavy. That's heavier than the other Xboxes. I can tell you that. That's actually got some weight to it. Let's actually put that in the box. Like I'm not that. That has weight to it. That's impressive. Okay. And there she is. The Xbox Scorpio Edition. Now, again, I don't know what makes this any different than the other one. Because I was actually just going to buy an actual Xbox One X and actually compare the two of them. But, yeah, that's not going to happen. We have the Xbox logo up here. But, other than that, if I... Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, it's hidden. Let's take this tag off. All right. So there it is right there. It says Scorpio right there. That's good. Okay, of course, this is the same thing as the S, which we have. All of the back here is identical. And I guess that's one of the reasons why they say all you have to do, if you have an Xbox, unplug it, plug this stuff back in. You actually don't need to use all this stuff. So, very nice. I actually like it. It looks like it's checkered along the top. Like it's just, I don't know if you, you guys wouldn't be, I don't know if you guys be able to see that on camera or not. So I'm just going to move this around for just to see if you guys can actually see it. It does look like it's checkered on the top. But it could be just the way it is nowadays. Who knows? But very nice. Little serial numbers there. HDMI cable in the front. On the S and stuff, it's over here. The HDMI cable, I like it over here a little bit better, a lot nicer. Very nice. Buttons are there. HDMI cable there. USB ports here and here and of course there. Uh, three of them. I wish they had more because, I, like I said, I have a lot of stuff to hook up. So we're going to put this here because we have another unboxing to do, but we need to help this. And this is only one terabyte. I wish it had more uh, terabytes in it. I'd like to see three. From what I'm hearing right now, because this is a 4K, the only 4K out there right now, gaming system, and the most powerful gaming system out here right now. Again, rumor has it PlayStation is going to come up with something. Hopefully, you never know. You never know with PlayStation. You know, I enjoy PlayStation as much as I do my Xbox. Um, anyway, yeah. So anyway, from what I'm hearing right now is... This guy is 4K, 60 frames per second, or 1080p if you don't want to use a 4K, 60 frames per second. A lot of people are saying right now if you're going to do 4K with the hard drive, you can possibly put 10 games on it because of the 4K. It's taking up so much memory. There's so much to them. Again, there isn't a lot of 4K games out there right now for the Xbox, you know, exclusives. You know, just usual Xbox stuff. Mainly anything that's made by Xbox itself that came out is going to be 4K upgradable, free. All the controllers, all your old controllers will work with the new Xbox, which is great. We don't have to run out and buy new controllers, which for somebody like myself who has a lot of controllers is great news. Um, so what I usually do, guys, just so you know, I have external hard drives. Um, this guy here is actually used for my PC. This this one here has all my videos in it from YouTube and stuff, just in case something ever does happen. Um, you know, I'm not a big enough YouTuber to get hacked, so I ain't worried about that stuff. 
But if the computer fails or something happens to YouTube, I still have all my videos. So I can upload them to another website later on if need be. You never know. So it's always good to have. But I do have an extra one of these, which is up there in my shop over here, um, for my console. Now, I actually was going to use it for the S, but I guess I'll be using it for this guy because of the one terabyte. It sucks, but it is what it is. We can complain about it all we want. Hopefully, hopefully, Xbox will actually give us bigger hard drives. So we'll set that over there for now. Um, another thing that came out today was Needs for Speed. This is not the other big unboxing, by the way, guys. This is something I just picked up. Need for Speed. Um, I doubt this is going to be 4K. Um, but we'll see. I'm not 100% sure. I just went in there to pick up this, and I found out this was out today, so I picked it up. Yeah, Deluxe Edition. I don't know. Deluxe Special Edition. Okay. Um, so, the next unboxing we got here, guys, and again, the reason why I didn't want to put it in the title is because I'll get flagged, and you'll see why. Um, first, I get the hat, which is the Call of Duty hat. Anybody that plays Call of Duty knows you're going to get flagged. Um, I have 400 and some odd videos on YouTube, and I had 16 of them flagged in the past few weeks. Which, in the head, with Call of Duty, Gears of War, or anything like that, were flagged. I fought one of them. I came back on a couple days later, and all of them were fine. They were back. So, again, anything that you guys got to worry about, anything with COD, or anything like that, or Call of Duty, they're gonna, you're going to get hit. And it sucks. That's why I usually don't do a lot of Call of Duty videos. Or anything like that, because you're going to get hit. Uh, Destiny you can get away with. I've never been hit with Destiny. I've been lucky that way. I know a couple people have been hit. I've been lucky that way. Um, so anyway, guys, this is the next unboxing. Call of Duty. The Valor Edition. Now, again, I had this at launch. But I wanted to wait till we got this guy out so I can kind of put this at the end. So hopefully you guys will stay tuned and watch and see what we got here for the unbox. So this is just a sleeve. We can just take that right off if we wanted to. Put it away. Do whatever we want with it. There's the actual... Stop swinging around so people can see. Anyway, that's the front. We'll put that over here. We'll put that back on here. So this is what it looks like when it's not. Awesome. People knew I had this. We're probably trying to figure out why. So we got a warning in the front. You guys really can't see it because we're a little high. No biggie. I just want to make sure I don't knock over my Xbox One X. So, right now we have a package. Warning. Plastic can be dangerous to avoid. Yeah, whatever. So let's take a look at this big guy. I did look at this. This is actually pretty cool. Let's put this down for a second, guys. So you got to roll this back a little bit so you guys can actually see this. I got to actually get a frame. I got to get a frame for this. You guys are going to like this. It's actually quite heavy. It's not your normal. But look at this. That is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. So I got to get this hung up. Tell me that ain't cool. That's cool looking. I like it. So I gotta put it somewhere flat so I can get the wrinkles out of it, and then I'm gonna get a, a frame for that guy. That's awesome. There we go. Just wanna make sure I didn't bend it any more than it already is, the creases. So let's. Uh, See if we can get this box out of here. So what I did is I pre-cut this because I didn't know how long we are going to be doing this video. Alright, so we have color on that right there. I really can't see it all that well. Let's see if we can get this. Again, like I said, I cut it before. Put it in there, perfect. We got a pin, Call of Duty, World War II. So there's a pin with a sword. Put that aside. 
Okay, we got the inf infantry badges. I say we got all of them. I'm gonna open it anyway. Don't care. I'm gonna open it. Just see which ones we got. I think we got all of them. You guys are playing COD now. You know what I'm talking about. Yes. So we get the infantry, the mountain, the airborne, armored, and explosives. So we got all of them. Awesome. I like it. Now, let's take a look at this. I'm usually pretty hard on <laughs> things like this, especially when I'm paying good top dollar money for. So let's take a look at this. First thing I can tell you is quite light. So it looks like this is the, the scene off the uh, Normandy Beach. So I'm just going to take it around a little bit here. As you can see, very nice. I like it. There's your uh, Call of Duty stuff on the bottom. Again, very nice. Uh, it's the same thing. Call of Duty World War II, from Sledgehammer, okay, Activision, okay, just usual stuff, no numbers, made in China, go figure. 2017, Activision Call of Duty, yep, nice. I don't mind it, like it's very nice, I don't mind it, but, <laughs> we got the X. But anyway, guys, yeah, so, of course, when you guys are watching this, I'm going to be downloading all this. Again, a lot of people are very concerned. Um, you don't need, you got to understand, you don't need to do 4K with this. It will do 1080p at 60 frames per second as well if you don't have a 4K TV or monitors or whatever. Um, it's just great to have it, you know, especially close to Christmas now. Um, a little after Christmas, usually a few days after Christmas for a little bit, TVs and stuff will go on sale, which is great. And solar monitors, so if you ever need a one that's 4K, you'll get them extremely cheaper than you would if you were trying to buy one now or just before Christmas. But, yeah. So, yeah, I think that's about it, guys. I think what we're going to do now is we're gonna get this sucker set up. But first, we're going to get this sucker on YouTube. Yes, we do. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I extremely appreciate it. And you guys are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Everybody else, if you want to see more unboxings, all you have to do is smash that thumbs up button. I got a lot more unboxings to do. And uh, we're just waiting for the right time or whatever to come out. So, you know, movie stuff. I got Star Wars stuff to unbox. But I think I'm going to wait until the movie comes out. And that way everybody's looking for Star Wars stuff. Hey. <laughs> Anyway, guys, again, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. And always remember, guys, to have fun. And we'll talk to you soon. Later, guys.